Today I'm covering how I curl my hair quickly with a straightener. Sorry if the light changes a bunch. I'm near my window and also sorry if there's honking. I'm near my window. To start, this is hair that has air dried. I slept on it overnight and it's a little funky in the back. Not really, I guess. But either way, I find that I get a better curl when it's air dried versus blow dried. Secondly, I don't actually use heat protectant on my hair because that also affects the curl. And because I keep my hair short, I'm not that worried about heat damage. I just deal with it. So I take the straightener and I just have a Revlon straightener. It's kind of really cheap. I should probably upgrade. And I start from the back. What I'm gonna do is take chunks from the top of my hair and chunks that are about if you look at the scalp, it's probably about a quarter worth of hair. I take the chunk in my left hand, with the wand in my right hand, I go right to the root, I clamp down and twist immediately while pulling immediately. This is so that I don't create a line. And there's my first curl. Now I just kind of leave it there. I'm gonna mess with them later, but I'm gonna move toward the front of my head now. I like to start in the back just in case I make a couple mistakes as I warm up. Go to the root clamp and immediately twist and immediately start pulling down. You also see that I'm pulling the wand kind of down to the ground. Like this almost along with the shape of my head. That is so that the curl kind of moves down and it looks nice as it lays. It's not uh, all, all coiled up here, so when it falls, it looks kind of like a, I don't know, some weird twist. I just don't like that look, per se. So I'm almost at the front. As you can see, this is only my third clamp. Sorry, I keep looking at the viewfinder for this because I'm trying to see how it's curling. And a best practice that I do follow is I curl away from my face. So again, another chunk about that big. And I'm not really particular because I'm trying to go quickly. And just pull. Now I am kind of pulling it taut against, like I am pulling it so I can feel it on my scalp. Not crazily, but this is the first side. And let's do the second side. Here I go again on the other side, immediately twist. And I just kind of do a single twist of the wrist, nothing crazy. <laughs> the difference already is pretty awesome. And with my hair, I like to do the top first, see how it looks, and then add more if needed. But honestly, I usually add only about one more. Today I'm in my living room. I don't usually curl my hair in the living room, but the lighting in the bathroom of this apartment is so bad. Do you, are you getting this gesture that I'm doing? Okay, let's see if you can see that. You can kind of see this side better because of the uh, sunshine. Okay, so I've done four sections on each side, moving closer to my face, always moving away from my face with the curl. I'm gonna do one section in the way back, dead center of my head, because I probably missed there. Now from historically, I know that the back actually looks pretty good with this method. But I like to throw one back there just to be sure. The pace at which you'll move the wand and the heat of your wand, you'll wanna play around with. For me, on this Revlon straightener, I'm at a setting of about 23 out of 25, and I move fairly quickly. I've been sitting here for less than five minutes real time, and I already basically am done. Except now I'm gonna go in and see how this area, there's just like, there's a curl here, there's a curl there. There's this big chunk of straight. I'm gonna grab a section there and just choose to do a curl there. See, done. 
And then, same on this side. I'm looking at this side, and I don't really like this chunk here. So I'm going to find that chunk, grab a piece of it, and curl. So I'm kind of moving the rest of the hair out of the way so I can access it better. The way that this really works fast is because I don't need to curl every hair on my head. It looks like a nice messy curl if I just leave some of it curled, some of it uncurled. And that is really it. I'm going to turn off my wand now. That is literally how quick this is. I do do a zhuzh at the root to separate them. And that's the look. Now I'm actually gonna go about my day with this hair. And I also don't really need hairspray, but this is a moment when you might hairspray. Once you've done a zhuzh and you like the look of it, you can do a hairspray. But um, I kind of like it messy and tousily, so I'm gonna leave it like this. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you like the look. Subscribe if you wanna stick around and get more of my future videos. Like this video if you liked the quick version of curling your hair with a straightener. And I will see you around. Bye guys.